sleeping? <laughs> Are you snoozing? Hi. Hey, mom, get you fed? <laughs> Just chilling? He's getting so big, guys. He is. He's really starting to shine up and grow up and be a little cutie pie most days. He still is a stud, and the more I uh, think about it and the more I pray on it, we'll probably go ahead and cut him here. I don't know. Maybe I'd like to have done it before I got into hay season, but we may have to take a break and do it in June. We'll just have to see. We'll see what the, the good Lord has in store for us, huh, bud? Yes. All right, let's chore. Okay, so kind of a busy, busy morning. Um, I am going to quickly do chores here, go check stuff over at the farm, move cows. I also need to go and uh, do another set of chores at somebody's farm that we are kind of covering for this week. And then come back and Jason wants me to pressure wash the 120. Uh, Keaton blew a hose yesterday in the field and uh, so I brought the rake and tractor home and we're going to clean it up. Jason is gone this morning. He went back to loft. He is picking up. Hi, Melina. Just a minute. I gotta get my scoop. The goose hates me. Um, Jason went back to loft. He is picking up another piece of equipment for us to play with this summer. You guys, I know I probably worn you out saying how blessed we are, but this is like once in a lifetime opportunity for us, and we we really appreciate what Massey Ferguson is doing with us this year, um, testing out some new equipment, adding to our own hay fleet all this stuff. So um, I'm going to throw chores. I'm not going to talk about them today, but feeding the Purina to my crew here at the house and of course over at the farm. So let's get to it. We have a busy day. So today I'm down here at Loft and we're picking up Rotary Rake. Hopefully we get it home and try it out today. This would be RK662 TRC. like a dust bowl back here we need so much rain guys <sighs> but 
we could use like three or four days of good just all day rain we are so dry we're actually in a drought i think we're at a d2 d3 it's the worst it's been in probably 10 years yes we have a little bit of grass greenness but if we were to mow this it would be just it'd just die so that's why we're trying to get as much hay off as we can right now we're all tired <laughs> And we haven't even really get started yet. We gave three hundred dollars for it, and I gave, and then I had an olive rake that we gave seventy five dollars for. It raked a lot of hay, so that was a long time ago. All right, ready to go? Yeah, let's get it off. Well, we'll let it slide this time. <laughs> So this is the Massey Ferguson RK662 TRC rake. It'll be our first ever rotary rake that we're using. You think you can do this, Keaton? Yeah. yeah? A little bit slower pace. They lock when they go up, when they fold all the way up. So like transport. Well, that's easy enough. Yeah. Ooh, I put it on the wrong side though. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> we would have eventually figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> they were a little too tall. Look at that. So yes, we do have it to the 120 amp because the Massey tractor is on the baler. But Sean said he'd forgive me for today. Just for today. So typically we graze this, but it was too good of hay and there's not an auto water for it. And they have a tendency that uh, when that barn gets full of hay, they, they don't want to always stay in the, the paddock. I'll get you. Just PTO on at about what, 450? Yep, 450 RPM. Um, That's level. Come on. Uh, 
six to seven, depending on conditions. Okay. That's a lot taller. Fluffy. Fluffy hay. That's going to adjust the wind row itself. Yeah, so that's going to adjust. So when our teeth come around, we're picking up the crop. Uh huh. And this is going to adjust when that tooth releases the crop in the center. Okay. So then, if you do one on one side, you do the one on the other side, or do they offset each other? So I, we always try to match. Um, okay. You don't necessarily have to. <laughs> you're gonna have to learn to slow your roll, dude. I didn't know where, how fast you go, so. so let's give that a shot. We'll see where we go from there. That's a lot better. I guess we'll know when the baler comes up here. Yeah. It looks good too. Um, the main advantages of a rotary rake like this is the hay, the windrow is going to be a lot fluffier. It allows that air to get down in there and dry the hay faster. Um, so you can get in the field quicker with the baler behind it. And also with the fluffier wind rower, it feeds a lot better into the baler. So typically you can run faster with your baler also. Okay, well I'll go grab the baler and we'll get to it. We are headed back up to that one field. It's just a little five acre patch, so it won't take us very long. And then we'll go to the big field and knock it out. You guys are enjoying today. Baling hay, all the things involved with what it takes to run a first generation farm or at least our farm here in Missouri. As you can kind of see, these windrows are definitely taller. They're definitely fluffier. Granted, this is a little bit more hay than yesterday anyway, but that's the whole idea of the rotary rake is to make your fluffy hay, and like Sean said, give it some more air. This obviously doesn't need to air, so that's why we're literally bailing it right behind the rake. Keen's in there getting some lessons as well. There are so many cool features at your fingertips um, in this tractor. It's, it's beyond amazing. The views, the floor space, the suit. Granted, this is the deluxe version. So it's specced out to every option you can possibly get within this series.
I can already see a huge difference between this rake and the rake that we normally do. We'll probably talk about it a little bit more, but right now we're just trying to get bailing. Just bailing our little heart's content. I think Jason's, uh, I think he likes it. I think he's going to be excited to see what it does as we transition. Try to keep my baby out of the trees here. It's definitely fluffier, definitely sets up higher. We're bailing. It's, it's nice being able to chase the rake. Can't always do that. But we can today. The rake has a learning curve. Well, raking in general is a learning curve, but we're gonna have to, have to probably pull it together a little bit more because I don't know if you guys can see on the windrow itself. It's it's kind of messy. I am honestly starting to feel like I'm never gonna get done with this field. And I know it's a lot of just adjustments and that took a while and this has taken a while. And we're not in our normal routine, which is really kind of throwing me off because I think it's like six o'clock. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, six o'clock and I'm still bailing. When we started bailing at like early, early enough. Uh, but we did break for lunch with Sean and it was good to just kind of like share our story with him and where we want to be at with our hay all the stuff that goes along with having folks out. <laughs> um, I didn't even ride, I didn't even run the rake today, you guys. I, I, that's how busy I've been in, the, in this tractor bailing because I haven't even ran the rake. Keaton got in it and every day he is raked, he has done a better job. So by summer, he should be the next pro. But we're just gonna keep on, keep on bailing. Um, tomorrow the plan is I'm going to mow, the boys are gonna go deliver hay. So ideally when we mow, we mow the first day, so we mow day one, it sets day two when we bail day three. So everything that we bail tomorrow, which is Wednesday, will, or excuse me, everything that we mow down tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we will bail on Friday and so on. So if we mow on Thursday, it'll be on Saturday, ideally. Obviously, it just depends on your weather. Um, if you have overcast or no overcast and you get really high humidity, they said there was a good chance of maybe some rain. I'm not holding my breath. Our little corn kernels are not coming up because it needs some moisture pretty bad. I think Jason's kind of beating himself up that we didn't get it done sooner, but it is what it is. Can't make it rain. Can't buy rain. It's out of our hands, so all we can do is do what we do best, which is obviously bail hay. So I'm going to finish up. Jason took both kids. They were going to go do all the chores at the shop, and then he was going to go load hay and... Uh, Tomorrow should be relatively easy, I think. We have a ball game tomorrow night. I don't know if Keaton's going. Keeps me very tired. I got up early and did some stuff. Did some work this morning and then I went back to sleep for a little bit and then I got up and it's just been what it is. So uh, we have a ball game tomorrow and then I don't know if Keaton's going with his dad or if he'll come back with home with us and work a couple more days. And before anybody slaps me with like ch child labor laws or any of that crap, Keaton has always wanted to be doing this. Like he has been waiting for the day when we've turned him loose. Like he's been with Jason in the fields, in the tractors almost every summer, pretty much since Jason and I started dating in 2013 when Keaton was two. So he has always been in and out of the tractors with Jason. This is, this is what he wants to do. If he didn't, um, obviously we would kind of make adjustments. We'd let him, we'd, we'd ask for his help, but at the end of the day, this is, this is where he wants to be. So 
we're very grateful for that. Jalen, Jalen likes to ride, but she's still too little to do a lot of stuff, but she likes to do the cows and she started tumbling again. So there's a lot of just different, different avenues. And we want the kids to make sure that they're always children first, even though they're growing up because we want them to come back and take over the farm someday. We would like them to take over the farm someday. Anyway, okay. And that's chit chatting, y'all. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bunny seat is always welcome. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. His mama made him come back and clean up what he missed earlier, so he's he's doing good. He's learning. And really that's the best rake to learn on because you can't go overly fast. So this generally is what the end of the night looks like for us, is hauling in. But he has a hay delivery tomorrow, so we're kind of multitasking. Some hay is going to go in the barn, and some hay we're going to move back over to his uh, Transcraft trailer for tomorrow.